Hey guys, it's Amber and welcome back to my channel. Or oh, if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Today we are back in cast to do the only thing that I seem to be wanting to do lately and that is turning EA starters into my own Sims. So this is a challenge that I've done a couple times here on the channel already and I've seen quite a few other people doing it as well. I feel like it kind of started with Eliandra. She was the first person that I saw completing this challenge. So I will link her channel down below so you can check out all the other times when she has done this as well as my own videos so you can see all the times I've done this before. But basically for this challenge, you will take one of the kind of starter sims that spawns into Cass and give them a little makeover. So I have hopped into Cass and this is our a random sim that's generated so if you would like to complete this challenge you just need to hop onto the gallery you want to enter in maxes for the ea account id and if you want to make this easy for yourself you will sort it by households um, i usually don't do that but i'm irresponsible so uh, it'll make your life a little bit better if you do and you basically just want to scroll until you find your sim so this seems a little bit interesting because i'm pretty sure this is her but she does actually have on a different outfit compared to the base game sim. But this is Miss Camille Abiza. So super smart and determined, Camille is passionate about food and nutrition and how it fuels people in living their best lives. Camille grew up in France and often visits her relatives in Morocco. Her multicultural background and passion for building connections through food has helped inspire the unique flavors of her cuisine. Camille runs a cafe and is always thinking about testing new recipes on her customers turned friends. So I actually think she's so cute and I really love this backstory. I love that they've kind of worked in all these different cultural backgrounds. It's too bad that we don't have worlds to match all of these um, worlds that they are mentioning in her background but that is fine so i am just going to uh, i'm just going to merge her in so that way we have a version of her that is got like the makeup and stuff because let me double check they do still have the same makeup even though they do have a different tops which this is just like i think a locked top that she has but that's fine so she has the master chef aspiration she is a genius she is a foodie and she is athletic. So uh, what I'm gonna do, or what kind of how I always start, is to take off all of their makeup, accessories, all that fun stuff, and then I don't like to change their facial structure or anything like that at all. But we will add skin details and uh, kind of a lot of CC, so she will look pretty different. But I don't like to change their faces, especially considering I'm someone who can get a little bit into same face syndrome when it comes to my sims so i like to leave their faces alone and i am going to use this skin detail like the skin overlay i don't typically use it it's not as defined as some of my other ones but i think we'll add that definition on some of the other layers so i think it'll be nice to uh, switch it up a little bit we'll give her some lashes she actually didn't have any sort of like skin details no freckles no moles nothing like that so I guess we will keep it relatively light for her. She does also have like some kind of grayish eyes. So I am going to add in just a little bit of like dimension to her eyes um, by adding in some speckles. Or maybe we should just do, should we do like a ring? Yeah, let's just do a ring. Let's do like a, a lighter colored ring in the center. And then I also feel like this skin detail is pretty smooth. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put like a nose overlay on her as well. I think I like that one. And then, uh, you know what? I think she needs like dimples or something thing let's see yeah i think we're just gonna do some dimples i know she didn't have any before but also like i don't think dimples are an option so there we go so we got our dimples and i think that's gonna be good so we'll give her some custom teeth i think that we'll go for these they're almost perfect but just a little bit off and then you guys know i have to hop in here and give everyone a little bit of moon moon blush I think we'll go for this one. It's a little bit more blush than usual, but 
I think it's cute. So we'll we'll take her a little bit over the top. Actually, no, no. She's already got the red hair. So let's dial back the blush a little bit. Let's go with my usual. And then let's get on the eyebrows. I do love that she's got red hair. Oh, those are nice. Those are, I think I like these better though. We will make some slight adjustments to eyebrows because you can always change your eyebrows. Not a big deal. Um, and then let's give her my typical eyes. I think we'll just go for these. There we go. I feel like her eyes maybe look a little too blue. So I am going to change that inner ring. I did blue because I feel like blue and gray look good together. But I'm going to change that inner ring to something a little bit more gray. There we go. I think that looks nice. Okay, so the first big thing is a hair. So she's got like curly hair, afro textured, textured hair. So I want to stick with that. And right off the top, I love this hair. I absolutely love it. It looks so good on her. It's going to be hard to beat, but we'll see what else we have. This one's pretty, but it's a little bit short for the length of her hair and I feel like I've been using a lot of shorter hairs this one's also really cute it's like a mesh edit of one of the hairs from home chef hustle and I do actually think this is really cute especially considering she's like a chef oh I don't know that's so cute actually oh, I don't know I also have this hair which I do feel like is essentially like a pulled up version of her hair which we may I don't know we could do like a chef look for her and like a regular everyday look I know that like I did two outfits for Kat I think and so we could do something like that for her as well considering her base sim just has on like a white button up and this one's wearing a chef outfit though I feel like it's just because they didn't have the chef outfit oh that's also really cute no I'm not gonna lie to you guys I just I want to do that first here I just I just think it looks perfect on her I just I just have to like y'all look at that how cute is that okay so that's perfect um she is wearing quite a bit of makeup I don't really know what to do about the outfit like this is literally a chef outfit and even the outfit that she generates in here is just a white t-shirt and jeans like I feel like my girl has literally no style. I don't know that I want her to literally only wear work clothes. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see what we can do for like an outfit. We can keep the jeans because like that obviously makes sense. But like I feel like I want her to have like, you know, a little bit of style. Oh my gosh. I did not realize that this sim has got a very classic sims 4 shape like i i never change the sims but i'm so tempted to give her a more normal body proportion because this is this is almost out of control um <laughs> but i'm gonna see if i can find like a cute white top this is actually really cute we could do like this I know it's obviously not a chef outfit, but it's very cute. And I just feel like she doesn't really have a real outfit. So like, I think it's kind of fair. She actually does have on a little bit less, like she's not wearing like skinny jeans. Like her jeans have a little bit more, they're a little bit baggier. I don't know if they're quite this baggy. I feel like this is such a different look than what she had on because she literally had on like work clothes. But I do think it's cute. We could give her a second outfit. Like this could be her casual wear. And then we could give her something that's like more on brand for when she's at work. We could do like these just like in like a denim. I like, I don't know. I just like my Sims pants to have belts. I actually don't know why because I never wear belts. Um but I like for my sims to have belts. I don't know it just makes the outfit feel a little bit more polished but I actually think I am gonna go back with these. Yeah I think I am gonna go with these and then she's just got on like 
Oh, she's got on long socks, which is interesting. It doesn't really matter, but we will give her socks just because she has some. I guess just plain white socks. She's got on like sneakers, so I feel like y'all know that's not that's not exactly my my default. They're also red, which is interesting. I do kind of love the pop of color. These don't come in red. We could give her pink ones though and pretend it's red. I'm not above it. I mean, these are maybe the only sneakers I have. Like, custom content? Oh, I could do, like, these. Like, she's obviously wearing Converse, but... Oh, I do have these. These just came out for, like, Sentate's most recent collection. Oh, these are cool. Yeah, I love those with, like, the black and then a little bit of red on them. That's cute. For nails... I don't know. I think we're gonna keep it very simple for nails. She does cook a lot, so I think... These are nice. I'm pretty sure that the, these nails aren't quite showing up how they're supposed to, but I actually like how neutral they are, so I'm going to leave it. And then I don't see her wearing a lot of, like, jewelry just because she works in the kitchen a lot. At least not rings and stuff. She does actually have on a decent amount of makeup, and then she is also wearing earrings. So I'm pretty sure she's rocking, like, Okay, I thought she was rocking the MAC makeup for a second, but she's not. So, she's got like a neutral eye and then like a glossy neutral lip as a well. So, when I think a neutral eye, I literally just have this eye gloss and it's like my go-to eye look. But something like this is also actually really nice. Or like this one, it's very subtle. I do, I like that. Let's do that. And then we'll do the same eyeliner I use every time because she does have a lot of like brightness kind of in that inner corner on her eyes. Um, I like the idea of going like relatively hard on like the blush and stuff. I feel like she's got on like a fair amount of that too. And then like a glossy neutral lip. She's kind of wearing something like this, to be honest, but we could do like that, or oh, we could do this. This is nice. We'll turn the opacity down a little bit. That's nice. And then she's got like a big gold earring. I don't think we're going to be... Actually, maybe we'll be able to see one of her earrings. I really don't know. She's got a lot of hair, so... No, I don't think we'll be able to see, but I think we'll just go... Oh, we can see just a hint of that one. We can see a little of this one. Like, you can see the peaks of gold coming through. I think we'll go... F you know what, though? Let's go for... Do you really want to... You know what? This isn't our work outfit. Let's go for these, because she'll just have, like, a couple hoops in. This is our non-work outfit, so this is going to be our first fit, and I am going to make this, I'm going to say this is like her casual wear, so this is what she looks like when she's not at work. It's still pretty similar to a work outfit, but like, it's the, it's the best I can do, and then for work, I obviously don't really have a lot of like custom career outfits. And I'm wondering if, I honestly can't remember because I never remember anything, but I think like this little outfit from Home Chef Hustle or one of these outfits from Home Chef Hustle would be cute. She's wearing a white top and denim, but this has got like lemons on it, which I don't know. That's cute, but not my favorite. Let's see what they have here for like tops and bottoms because we can always change the bottoms, but I'm just looking for like a cute a cute chef top I mean this is basically what she had on but like it is cuter than someone she had so we could go for this and then she's wearing jeans but like surely as a chef she should wear black pants right like we're looking for a nice black pant 
or I guess technically because there's accents of like neutrals in here should we go for like browns this is actually kind of cool so maybe we go for these and like tan because it matches with her top I know it's I feel like the more of these I do the further I get away from what I'm supposed to be doing but like I don't feel any shame I don't I <laughs> I'm making them my own um and so she had on like a red shoes so do we go pop of color again on the feet I'm really tempted to just put actually you know what this time I think I'm gonna use not the base game tennis shoes but the werewolf pack tennis shoes but in red I think we'll go for that and then I think I'm going to change the earrings a little bit so let's go for like just these she still has them but they're smaller and then we're not going to change her makeup or anything and then i forgot to check to see if she has tattoos if not i think she definitely needs the home chef hustle tattoos that we discovered in the last video because our girl's a chef so she needs of the chef tattoos so uh, there we have them should we do let's just go for a classic black I think okay yeah so she needs the chef tattoos and honestly I think that's it I don't know this one's a little bit different I think the sim herself is like super pretty like this is such a pretty sim but I feel like they didn't really do much for her outfits she does I guess have like um, you can see a little bit of style here and some of her other looks, but like her party wear has got a little bit of variety to it. That's kind of cute. Like, I feel like we, honestly, her style's pretty simple. Like she's still literally wearing a white top and blue pants for almost all of her outfits. And this one's basically a white top and blue pants. So honestly, I guess we fit her vibe because it's a white top and blue pants we did cheat a little bit here but you know what you know what just to get back on theme a white top and blue pants so here we have miss camille abiza i do think she's really pretty but like i said her fashion's a little bit a little bland i do think this outfit came out cute though like i like the way it looks so this is kind of her off work just vibing look and then this is our nice little work outfit. I think it looked a little bit more professional than what she had on. So I am happy with that. She doesn't mention any other Sims in her backstory. So I am going to scroll through and see if there's anyone else that doesn't really have anyone in their backstory. Oh, actually, she doesn't mention him, but Hunter Evans. So... Hunter Evans, big hearted and expressive, Hunter is an outspoken activist for the LGBTQIA community. He's passionate about creating space for people to come together and feel supported. He's cultivated a huge social media following and his followers count on him to document every moment for uh, the world to see. When he's not authoring content for his channel, he partners with his bestie Camille on a nutrition and a wellness series. Oh, these two go together. Okay, perfect. So uh, let's go ahead and pop in a hunter and we will do two versions like always so that we have someone to go back and look at. Okay, so we have hunter and I'm sure at the time when they did this, they hadn't had like they hadn't made all the things for sexual orientation, but just based on his backstory, I'm going to say that Hunter is gay. Um, he does have the friend of the world aspiration. He's good, family oriented, and outgoing. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so Hunter's got, he's got slightly different features for me. Like this is one that like, I'll be honest, I would probably change a few things about him. Does he have freckles or anything? 
he is cute but like his eye shape's a little bit different for me but i think that's kind of the point of this like that's kind of the fun is working with sims who have different facial features and structures than i would typically use i'm just trying to decide what i'm gonna do about skin details like i've used this one on almost all of my sims i know i talked about this the last time but i don't have that many male skin details or masculine frame skin details so I basically only have the two options. I guess I could use this one. I almost never do because it's on a different level than <laughs> my other ones. Yeah, I think we'll go for that one, that first one that we chose. And then we'll add in some uh, lashes for him. I think we'll keep it simple with these. I know that I gave him like a couple of like skin details, that, uh, like kind of like freckles, beauty marks that he didn't have, but I think I think they suit him, so he's gonna keep them. We'll go for those for his eye bags. He actually has like hazily eyes, so we probably definitely need to do the inner circle for him. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. And then we'll see it when we do the rest of his eyes. And then let's do a nose mask. That one actually works really well for him, I think. Then maybe just like a little bit of face shaping with that, I think will be nice. Okay, that's good. For teeth, let's go pretty standard on the teeth for him. And then he, I think, can have a little bit more blush since we didn't do it for her. He's got like a grayish hazel eyes. So I think we may do that because I think it's basically like these sort of eyes. Yeah, let's go for those. And then for brows, he's got super thin brows, which is a real hard sell for me. So I think we're gonna have to thicken him up a little bit. So I think maybe like here is the best I can do. He's also got really arched brows. We could go for these, these are like, pretty thin i think they're thinner than all my custom content brows since he's a thin browed king i think we can go for those and then for hair he's just got like short kind of spiky hair so let's see what we can work with i don't have a ton of male custom content i was gonna say hairs but literally in general so we probably won't have that many options. We can do something like that. I feel like that's probably the closest that I have. This one's got more volume to it like his hair has, but he has much shorter sides. Oh, I like this. I think this is a little bit more style than his hair, but I like that. And I feel like it kind of is just like his hair but it's like pushed to the other side i think that looks nice on him and then he does wear glasses and i think i only have a one pair of custom content glasses so he can have those um and i think they look nice on him actually oh he looks cute y'all i'm excited because i was i'll be honest with you not super sold okay so for outfits We've got basically like two layers here, which I feel like I've worn out all of my two layer <laughs> custom content tops. Like, I feel like it's kind of this, but I know we've done that one before. Um, it's not this, but I'm pretty sure we did that one in the last video. Like, is he giving this? Like, are we, are we to this moment yet? Like, is he, I don't think he's suiting up. Do we go back for this? I didn't use, I'm pretty sure I used the solid one for Kirk. So, we could do that. That's literally almost exactly what Kirk had on though. I'm so torn. Okay, let's look at non-custom content because I don't have a lot of custom content for my male sims. So maybe we need to work with some in-game stuff. I do tend to dress my masculine frame sims with in-game content 
because I don't have that much custom content. Like, this is nice. I feel like it's maybe a little too casual. This is actually nice. It's simple, but like, the construction's really cute. I do like that. I do like that. This has kind of got a different, I consider doing my custom content version of this. It's kind of got a different vibe, but I do just like the way the layers look on that one. Oh, we just used this one, didn't we? Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, we ended up with this last time, didn't we? We didn't actually do... Oh, I love that for him, actually. What color? Is he wearing, like, tan? Hmm. We're going to have to switch up the colors a little bit because he's got, like, tan and a red. But I actually really like this. I think this is really nice. Okay, hold on. I kind of love this one. <laughs> is that too different? Like, cause he's got on black pants. No, I think that's so cute. We're doing it, we're, we're doing it. And then he's just got on like black pants with like a little rip in them. And he is even wearing a belt like he's 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 killing it we're gonna use these pants they're my favorite pants they're they're perfect there's no reason not to we could even do like a little pattern on them is that too much are y'all gonna be mad at me like is that is that too far because i'll admit i'm kind of into it i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna do that because uh it's a little i think it might be a little too busy considering what he had on originally but like let me know down below. Do you think the striped pants was kind of a moment? He's got on like, okay, so he's got some bracelets. He has on socks as well. And I think he needs to have like, we could do white socks, but I think we need to do, I want yellow socks. Like I want the color I think we can do that. I want the color of his top and socks. I just think it's, I I just love it. I know this is getting a little bit, again, I know I mentioned this, but the more of these I do, the more out of hand that we get, but I kind of love it. And he's got like loafers on. I don't have any custom content male shoes. I think these are nice though. Those are nice. These are kind of what I was looking for from City Living, but I think those might be a little bit too busy considering everything else. So I think we are gonna go with these. He does have on a, a watch, which obviously, you know, I don't have a custom content version of. So let's see. I like to change everything. So I guess this one, you can't see it. So it honestly doesn't matter, but he has one. And so I don't want to take that from him. So we are gonna do that. He doesn't have a necklace, but because of his new neckline, I do think one would look nice. So let's see what I have. Again, no custom content, I'm sure. But like, that's nice. Just like a good, oh, that looks good too. Is this from Crystal Creations? Yeah, I think it is. I think maybe just this one for him. And then let's see, he doesn't have any tattoos and I think that's reasonable. I do want to give him like a little chest hair cause you'll be able to see it. We'll match his actual hair color. Cause like, come on, like how iconic is a little chest hair peeking through? I love it. Okay. So uh, this is our Hunter Evans. So I actually think he turned out really cute. He is a little bit no, I don't think his style is actually as different as some of the other sims that I've created, but y'all have to let me know what you think. So of the two besties, who is your favorite? We have Miss Camille Abiza. She does have our two different outfits. So we've got our casual everyday outfit, which I think is cute. It's simple, but definitely cute. 
And then we also have her kind of workwear. And honestly, I do think her outfit fits with her vibe. Like, she's athletic, so I feel like she'd have, like, a little bit more of, like, a casual style. And then we also have Hunter. So this is his original look, which I think is nice. But, like, New Hunter's definitely serving. Like, I feel like New Hunter's definitely got a little bit more attitude. So you guys have to let me know what you think down below. Have I gone, like, a little bit too off the rails? Are my new Sims looking a little bit too different? Or do you think that it's just the perfect level of customization? Um, please let me know which of these two is your favorite down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. And as always, I want to say thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye!